got the Dame Bane playing freaking Candy Crush and Mac Daddy's Caddy. So you guys saw in a different video that we did the LED upgrade on the headlights of Mac Daddy's Caddy. And, uh, you know, I made mention about these little inserts here on these lights. They're looking, look, looking a little bit drab, I guess you can say. I need to order another set of these for here just to make it look consistent. Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Anyhow, but I'm going to take these things off again and I'm going to take these lenses off of here and uh, we're going to clean them up really nicely. I uh, got some polish, so we're going to polish these things out really nicely, clean them all up, and uh, we're going to do some switchback LEDs for the turn signals. All right, so as per usual, Philly on a drilly. We'll go ahead and uh, start off on our driver's side here. Remove these fillies. See how our repair did on our thing here as well. Just, uh, when I'm pulling this off, we'll see if uh, she cracks again, which hopefully she won't. Look at that. Nice and structural, boys. All right, set that here. Looks like the next step here is to grab a seven mil and uh, pull off this housing here and see what we can do. All right, so it's not a seven mil, it's actually a quarter inch. So go ahead and just take this bad boy off. Pull that off there. We'll polish up this little trim housing here. And I think the whole housing should come off. Don't know what this is all about. Just like a, looks like it's a retainer of some sort just to keep it from whatever-ing. And then this should spin off and out. So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and clean up this housing here. She's real faded. Boy, she ever faded, eh? And we will also replace this bulb with an LED switchback bulb to the 1157. And uh, it'll go from white to orange. All right, so these are our switchback LEDs. Hopefully you guys can see those there. These are from Lumens, made in Canada, pretty cool. And uh, 1157 WA white amber. We'll go ahead now and uh, plug this sucker into here. Let's go like that. What is going on here? What is really going on? Huh. There we go. Which way does that go? So that'll go like, like that, like that. All right, let's go plug this sucker in. Oh, sorry, yeah, turn the lights on. Ooh. All right, so it goes from that to, I gotta find the keys for this thing. Hang on a second here. You know what, they're in the 300. Put all the keys together so that way I don't lose them. Out she comes. Put these in the here. Turn our turn signals on. <laughs> and goes orange. Wow, she flashes really slow though. Something ain't right. Something ain't right there. Flashing too slowly. Let's see here. There's probably just not enough resistance, eh? Not enough resistance on the line there. Too slow. Too slow. Yeah, definitely not fast enough. Definitely not. We'll figure that out in a minute. All right, so go ahead and take these and uh, wash them up here. One of my suppliers gave me this Grime Eater multi-purpose citrus cleaner sample only. And uh, yeah, let's give her a freaking little whirl here. Oh, shit, let's just drop the whole thing inside the water. Good start to my cleaning episode there. And, uh, yeah, you know what? Seems to be working okay. We're going to hit here, rag a little bit wet here, turn off our hot water. Our tank's only so big. 
just some of that on our rag and pretty much just use the whole thing and uh, we'll just give this sucker a good little wipe down oh yeah muchos muchos better look at that oh wow we wow we wow 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 very nice okay that can just go there for now and then this really grimy as well Very grimy. Oof. She's a grimy one. They feel like the, uh, once you get all the bugs off the outside of this thing, might as well give her a little bit of a rinse. Here, rinse out the inside. I'll blow this thing all out and clean it all up. I don't want to do too much to the inside there, but I guess I'll use a little bit of this. Slosh it around a little bit. Give her a good rinse. All right. Let's see how that worked out. All right. Let's see. Blow this sucker out with our airline. Alright, so come to the airline, watch your eardrums there boys. You don't want to blow too hard into the air. There is like a chrome finish on the inside here that we're going to have to be careful of. So just give her a little... Give her a nice blow job. Be nice about it, you know? Alright, so I got her in the uh, vise here. got those rubber little thingies there on my vise just so I can uh, keep a good grip of it without having to do two-handers and I got my uh, power ball here I'm gonna stick this sucker on a drill once I get a new battery on there let's see here boom boom what a quick action boys quick action all right so in my own personal experience I like to get this power ball a little bit damp and I also like to clean it every time I use it someone used it this last time and uh, didn't clean it. You know what? Look at this. Multi purpose degreaser. You want to make sure you really give her a good rinse down. And she's as clean as she's gonna get. So I get rid of any of the extra water that might be on there. And uh, we'll go ahead and grab our polish over here in the back room, in the back room of the top, yeah. I'm gonna have to find this ship. All right, so she's a little bit damp, not too wet, not too wet. You don't want to get her too wet. Yeah. That's what she said. And you want to stick this shit on there. Look at that. Just gonna spread it around. <laughs> Look at that. See, all it is is just a little bit of rubbing compound, guys. And, uh, you know, work it. Work it, baby. Work it. And the shit will spread and get all over the fucking place. And dusty fellas everywhere. Get her from all the different angles. You want to get it from all the angles, Lisa. All the angles. Just like that. You want to give her the Gundy one more time. A little more splooge on there. Damien, if you don't mind. All right, perfect, perfect. <laughs> Gotta get the accents going on in there, boys. Sound effects, it's not the same without the side of sound, sound effects. <laughs> Apply liberal pressure. I mean, you want to move the thing around a bunch and you want to, you know, you want to get her nicey nice. And just, you know, all the angles. All the angles.
and uh, you know, let's grab a rag and see our final result. Alrighty, so grab yourself a semi-clean uh, microfiber towel here and uh, give her a little rub down. I want to treat her nice. I want to treat her nice. Oh shit, don't break her. Don't break her. You're never going to find out one of those. <laughs> Alright. Get in all the uh, angles. And, uh, whew, wow, what a nice job that is there. Real nice. Still got some water on the inside there. So we'll go ahead and uh, give her a little. blow job there be real nice and real nice to it check that out guys if you guys want to see the uh, the other side there in comparison old new old new all right so I uh, turned the car on voltage was getting a little bit low there and uh, she's blinking the way she's supposed to be now so stick this sucker inside of the housing What's going on here? What's really going on? Like that. And in she goes. Just like that. So I'll go ahead now and uh, I'll grab the, uh, I will grab the uh, collar and stick that on. All right, give this thing a little bit of a polish. A little bit of a rubbing compound on there, like a saw. And eventually I'll end up doing this to all of them, I'm sure. My anal retentivity is not uh, what it used to be, but uh, I am still quite anal. So yeah, I think that turned out pretty good. A little paloosh, a little paloosh with a hand elbow action. I'll go ahead now and uh, slam this sucker into here and see uh, what she looks like finally. All right, see how that looks, boys. Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. She blinks slow when the car is off, but uh, see the idea there, right? Eh? Switch back LEDs. Mooch, mooch, mooch moves better on this versus, pull the hell out of there, versus that there, covered in schnock, and the nice new clean one. Which one do you guys think looks better? Leave a comment down below, in below there, the comment section down below, down here, down here, in the section down below. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think of the switchback LEDs for the Mac Daddy's Kate. Got the LED headlights going on there. Do you guys think I should replace this one here? Let me know in the comments below, in the comment section below. All right, guys, Carphonics signing out. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff that I like you guys doing. And uh, don't worry, I read all your guys' comments, all right? Keep in mind, crimping ain't easy.